Hey there. I'm back. It's um it's the beginning of June now. And uh Wow, a lot has happened in the last couple of months. I've been home from Thailand for about a little more than a month now. And um there have been some strong ups and downs in life. And that's kinda what I want to talk about today is just just life. Um I guess I guess I should start off by talking about post-op life. Post-op life is pretty tough these days. Um, it, it, it's all, of course, it is nice to have so many mental barriers removed. Um, I feel like when I look at myself in the mirror that I'm more complete than I have ever felt before. But at the same time, I'm still in a lot of pain daily pain um the stitches that are that are keeping all the tissues together are uh are irritating my skin um i have to be dilating three times a day in the morning afternoon and evening which means i can't really go out somewhere for a full day's activity um i sort of have to be back back home three times a day. And that makes it hard to have uh, what feels like a normal life again. It, it's prevented me from going out and really seeking a job. And it's prevented me from spending all day with friends or going out to some some sightseeing, etc. Um, and dilating still hurts a lot. Um, so that is what it is and I, I can understand having experienced this part of it why some people that go in for surgery they uh if they feel not fully prepared or not fully confident or if they expect that changing their genitals is going to change or fix other problems in their lives that this makes everything harder so I guess that's the that's the advice that I would impose uh, to you about being post-op is things are harder, which is <laughs> it's kind of a, things are supposed to be better, right? Things are supposed to be better after you get surgery, but they are harder, and and I think for me I'm I feel like I'm over the hump. I feel like I only have a little bit of time left before things start to get easier. Because in one more month, I'm going to be dilating twice a day, and then I can have a normal life again. Um, and at the same time, I'm able to start having sex, um, which is going to be really nice. So the next thing that happened since I've been home is, um, is I had, uh, I'm sure you're aware of this already, but Krista Easter, my fellow Galactican from Trinity Star Galactica decided to take her own life. And I've been, um, <laughs> I've been really impressed by the outcry of support and mourning that has come out of this YouTube community for her. I feel like, well, I know Krista was loved and I know she had a love in her, a lot of love in her heart. So I'm, I'm sad that things happened the way they did for her. Um, and it's been taking me a long time to formulate my thoughts and process my feelings about what to say about Krista, because uh, I think it's a huge tragedy that she's gone. And um, I will celebrate her life. I think that... Um, Krista was a person I really looked up to on her channel and on Trinity Star Galactica. Um, while I was still sort of in the trenches of my transition and, and not, not making much progress, stuck in Denmark. Um, so I really admired her. I still admire her. And um, when I started posting videos 
she came to me and said how much she liked my videos and I was just a little bit blown away by that because I was like this is supposed to be the other way around like I'm supposed to be the one freaking out over how much I like your videos Krista but she I don't know I guess she she was taken she was she took a liking to me and um, I ended up when she uh, she departed Training Star Galactica for a while and I that was how I entered as I took over her her Wednesday for her so if you go back and you watch the first video for Tranny Star Galactica that I ever did, in fact, I think I'll put a, I think I'll put up a link right here. If you go back and watch that video, you'll see she says goodbye and I say hello. And when I think about that video, I I see a lot of selfishness in myself. I see. Um, I see someone so eager to to prove that she has something worth talking about related to gender that she didn't give due diligence to the person that came before her. So I think that I um I see that as a mistake I made. Uh, I see that I've made a few mistakes in connecting with the community. Um, and uh, I'm not going to go into that now, but it's something that I feel. And I, I guess that that's just one sort of uh, one sort of example of how I feel. I don't know. I could have... <sighs> I wish I had known that Krista was having so much trouble because I knew that she was a fan of mine and I was a fan of hers and we talked from time to time but we didn't talk very often and I wish I had known that she was in trouble um, because maybe there was something that I could have done maybe there was something I could have said to her to just keep her alive for a little while longer or to keep her alive long enough to make her change her mind um, but I didn't, I didn't reach out to her. I wasn't psychic enough. And, um, she's gone now, so. But I know she's listening. I totally believe she's still hanging out. Wherever. Wherever she wants to be. Probably up on the mountains skiing. And uh, the last big update I have for you is that I, I don't even know how many of you know this, I was in a relationship until yesterday uh, when it ended. I met this girl when I was in Copenhagen and uh, we shared a lot, but unfortunately she came into my life when I had already committed to leaving Copenhagen. And so we only had a brief time together. And then we had a six month break. A six month break while we were together but not seeing each other. And um, then she came to visit. She was here for a month almost and left a little while ago and the distance, <clears throat> the distance between us now is just kind of obvious that, uh, that we're not right to be partners together. And, um, I think it goes without saying that the relationship was not perfect, but I guess no relationship is perfect. But I, you know, I didn't know how long she and I were going to be together, but I, uh, I thought it would be 
I thought that the length of time that we would be together would be equivalent to the feelings that we had for each other, and I don't think that it was. I think that uh, we only had a very short time together compared to uh, the feelings we had for each other. And, um, and that makes me sad. So I'm being a little bit depressing today because I've talked about three pretty depressing subjects. But, um, you know, there is an ebb and flow to life. And um, I don't really see a point in trying to sugarcoat the world or one's life when one's life is full of sadness. So um, I'm not... I'm not going to be Mrs. Depresso, like, oh, everybody be sad, like, feel my pain, like, fuck that, it's not about that, it's just, I want you all to know that life is hard and life goes on, because despite these difficulties that I described, post-op pain and discomfort, suicide of friends and loved ones, and loss of relationships, life goes on. You always have another sunrise. You always have another sunset. Until, or unless, you decide not to. And then you adopt the path that Krista took. Which is a horrible path to follow. And I would never encourage anybody to take that path. Including myself even though there have been times when thinking about a tomorrow has been hard. I'm glad I don't feel that way anymore. And um, I hope that, uh, I hope that you can feel the same way, that, that it's always, wor always worth waiting for tomorrow and seeing what tomorrow has in store because it could be brilliant. Um, so, that's it. Life goes on. We make the best of things. We can choose our own perspective to look at the world. We can choose our own lens to look through when we see the world. And we can all build our own realities around us by looking at things the way we want to look at them and by feeling things the way we want to feel them and by believing things that we want to believe. And that's what makes each human experience special, including yours, no matter what sort of adversity you're going through. So I'm going to leave you with that and say happy Wednesday. And Krista, I miss you. And um, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.